a scholarship for white students only. Well, that move caused a lawsuit to be filed, and one of the plaintiffs has he rejected what he says, the, how the school wants to resolve the issue, and that is the focus of our 10 at 10 first story. Tompkins, who's already earned a Master's of Education from Alabama State, says the proposed settlement would bring the discrimination lawsuit he filed in 95 to no avail. would have a settlement and we'd be ba right back at the same doorstep, white only scholarship. We just remove the name, but it still would be for whites only. No additional funding and no funds available for, for black students or any other race of students. Under the proposed settlement, the university agrees to remove wording that highlights the so-called diversity scholarship as being for whites only. They also agree to remove words that specifically exclude African Americans. But Tompkins says the university does not agree to put money back into other scholarships used to fund the diversity scholarship. The million dollars would be allocated until the year 2004, strictly to white students, no new funding. And if the student just happened to quit and leave, which I doubt it, because they're not going to leave because they said they're getting paid, they're going to stay there. My main goal was to go there and eliminate the program in the sense that where it was discriminating against people based on their skin color, you know, and make the funds available to all students, not just one race of students. Now, Jesse Tompkins there says that he rejected that uh, settlement, and he says he will fight it to the Supreme Court if he has to. He says he prefer now that a judge would make a ruling on the matter. We should also tell you that we contacted Alabama State today, asked them for a comment, and they refused. Reporting live in Montgomery, Isaiah Harper, ABC 32, where news comes first.